going to be back cracking with another reaction. And today, man, we got to take it all the way up to Brooklyn, man. We got that boy Lamore Whitehead, a.k.a. Bishop Lamore Whitehead, a.k.a. the Bling Bishop. Um, yeah, man, he was just found guilty for uh, for fraud, man. You know, from scamming the people, man. He was just sentenced to 108 months. Now, listen, y'all got to understand something, homie. Um, putting yourself in that man's shoes, uh, he's flesh. You see what I'm saying? A lot was... Look, first of all, the the the, the pastor, uh, Bishop Whitehead, you know what I'm saying? Pulling up in lamb chops, you know what I'm saying? Um, Bentley Coops, you know what I'm saying? Gucci Shades, he was overdoing it. Ain't no doubt about it. Bishop Lamore Whitehead was one of them flamboyant type of pastors. You see what I'm saying? He was getting the money, he was getting it fast. He had to get the gaff. So let's be honest. He gave us, he got away with this for over two decades. Two. You understand what I'm saying? This bishop wasn't, he wasn't, wasn't new to this. That dude was, he was well he skilled. That nigga knew what he was doing. You understand me? Um, yeah, you gotta look at it like this though. You know, that dude made nothing out of something. The money start willing in, his appetite start getting bigger. He's a human, he has flesh. You see what I'm saying? You can hear it in his. I mean, listen, you know what I'm saying? I got lingo like bingo myself, but I would never take from the people. You see what I'm saying? Think about it, bro. You pulling up in a in, in his suits? Oh, my God. The dude was pulling up in, in Dior suits, Gucci suits, uh, Louis Vuitton suits with the Gucci imprint at the church. Everybody in the church ain't even doing that. It ain't nowhere in hell, nigga. That pastor getting that much money. You understand me? It was just a dead giveaway. You understand? Listen. <laughs> the bishop was, he was running a play. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, he might have started off with good intentions. But once again, the lifestyle keeping, the nigga was sliding around town, nigga, bumping Jay-Z in a Bentley coupe, and he a pastor. Come on, gang. Come on, man. You know, they normalize. Think about it. They, 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 they normalize, you know, how you can, you know, be flashy and be a preacher. You know, he was one of them, the dude from New Jersey. First of all, this is a 45-year-old man. You know what I'm saying? Um, I never heard none of his, his sermons. But if I was to guess, the only way that he would see uh, his fame to glory is one in heaven on earth. Yeah, he was a pastor. Yeah, he, he probably preached a good sermon. He had to preach a good sermon. It ain't no way on God's green earth this dude was just a trash ass pastor and, and people just throwing that money at him. It, it wasn't going down like that. So what, what, without a doubt, I would be forced to believe that, right? Um, he was seasoned. You see what I'm saying? He had to get the gaff. You see what I'm saying? Um, some might say he had the Holy Ghost in him. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> but no, uh, how did he get away with it for so long? You see what I'm saying? Think about it. The dude was a, dude was a, and come on, man. At the end of the day, yes, it was absolutely wrong. Ain't no doubt about it. But I always said this. People can only do what you allow them to do to you. Now, you know, the Brooklyn sensation, the AKA the Bling Bishop, he was well known as the Bling Bishop. Dude pulling up, and he was saying, my church, my money. You know what I'm saying? You hold it out there and you go bring me my money. <laughs> nah, dude, look. Um, to, to me, uh, I have to look at it from a different standpoint, man. The dude, um, you know, honor amongst thieves, dude. Let me tell you something. I mean, come on, bro. We got gang bangs, niggas, killers, and all that trouble. Oh, that nigga fell, man. That nigga. Dirt. Shut up, nigga. You knock something down. You know what I mean? I can't judge, man. You understand me? I, I, I could just say this. Um, you got caught. You see what I'm saying? You got caught. You got caught. Um, so, you know, he was just, you know, this case been going on for a while, man. Let's be honest, man. Um, the Brooklyn pastor, man, he was just sentenced to nine years. You see what I'm saying? They're not going to spare that dude. You're not no celebrity, bro. When you, especially with the church, bro, you want a general population unless you PC up. You you know, um I seen him do interviews talking about um 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 what's 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 the comedian name? DL Huey was a punk and you know watching him argue and 
you dudes are straight punks and, and you're a coward. And, you know, he was speaking with aggression, like, as if, like, you know, he was doing it in the name of Jesus. You know what I'm saying? And, and to God be the glory, he was represented as a soldier. And he was not scared to check you, cuss you out, or do whatever it took to just let you know I ain't the one. You see what I'm saying? And look, he, he caused a lot of attention to come his direction. A lot of people start looking at that dude like, wait a minute, not only is this dude getting money, the dude is coming to church in Gucci print suits, three-piece suits, Richard Milley on the wrist, that's 350000 on the wrist, another 100000 on the pinky ring, another eighty-five in the ears, put it up in a Bentley coupe. Come on, man. You know, even his ex-wife had to leave the nigga. She knew it was wrong. She got up out of there in, on time. You see what I'm saying? Because the nigga was cheating, bro. Like, come on, man. Think about it, man. Temptation is a flesh. I don't, look, bro. He's not the only one. He's not the only one. It's, it's nowhere on God's green earth that you will believe that that, that Bishop, um, you know, Lamar Whitehead was is the only one taking the people's money. You know what I'm saying? When, you, when they looked at the math, that's why I got charged for lying to a federal agent because he said, he asked me, do I have another phone? He didn't ask me that. He wanted me to be an informant to get information about the mayor of New York. And he asked. Out of all the money that he was making, he never paid for, bought nobody house. You see what I'm saying? Like, think with the church, when you're making that type of money, for tax reasons, some of the, you know, some of the people in your congregation say, oh, they about to foreclose my house. They, I, we only need 20000 Get that 20000 pay off the house. Let them pay the rent to the church. That person stays going to the church until they work their debt off. That would be the most logical thing to do. When you get that type of money, you want to make sure that you're helping the people in the congregation. You see what I'm saying? Um, you know, buying homes, millions of... Dude, over two decades. You understand what I'm saying? Two, over two decades. This man had been making millions and millions and millions and millions. And he was splurging on women, cars, jewelry, clothes, traveling. He wasn't helping the people, man. You see what I'm saying? He wasn't helping the people. And but, but, but catch this. Not only that, though. It got so bad. If y'all don't remember... Bishop Lamore Whitehead, this was the pastor who got robbed at the church. The bishop who was allegedly robbed for a million dollars during a live stream service has now been arrested for fraud and extortion. Lamar Whitehead allegedly convinced one of his church members to give $90,000 from her retirement savings. She thought he was going to help him buy a new house. Instead, he's accused of buying himself thousands of dollars of luxury goods and clothing. Whitehead's lawyer says he denies all these allegations, but he could face 20 years or more in prison if he's convicted. The goons threw on a the, 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 the poo shiesty mask ran up in there. Get down, get down. Show sure enough. He like, ooh, ooh, son, God. This is God's house, son. Yeah, you ain't saying your church now. You was getting down, you know what I'm saying? Get on up. <laughs> but no, listen, man. Uh, this is the pastor who got robbed. He went viral. I ain't never seen some goons run inside a church and rob a church. What is a million dollars doing in a church? Nigga, you, you understand, if I was a member of the church, nigga, I'm like, nigga, you got a million dollars? Nigga, I can't even pay my car no, you got a million dollars in here? Man, ham and cheese sandwich going on. But nah, man, he, he started, he, man, he, man, he brought a lot of uproar, but, but anyway, you know, he was found guilty, you know what I'm saying, on fraud, um, scamming, embezzlement, false statements, uh, you know, he, so much, but not even that. Like he still got off a little good. 108 months, that's nine years. Okay, cool. But when he get out, he gotta pay an $85,000 restitution. On top of that, like a $95,000 um, once released. Dude, that dude got away with millions, man. So, you know, my thing, he was known that he was known for his fancy Louis Vuitton suits. Them Louis Vuitton suits, $6,000, $8,000. <coughs> The nigga suits, man. You understand me? Cost more than a nigga mortgage and rent. See what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. That dude was, and he had, I would say, <laughs> woo, but nah, it's the church, man. I can never respect that if you take it from the church, man. You know, them innocent people, 
They didn't deserve to have that. Um, he once took, he once convinced a, a, a church member to give ninety thousand dollars. He was supposed to match that and buy that 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 person a new house. He took the ninety k and went and spent it. Man, he owes so many people so much money. But let me tell you something, though. I wouldn't be surprised if they knocked the line, knocked the Bible lining out that boy. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about. Yeah, man, they not gonna play with that boy, man. They not gonna play with him. This is nothing to play with. This is not even a laughing matter. You see what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, you know, Bishop uh, Lamar Whitehead, man, he a New Jersey cat. You know, look, dude. He had a sting of financial fraud uh, 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 organ, uh, operations going on, bro. You see what I'm saying? He knew it was only a matter of time. I honestly believe this, though. It make no doubt about it. It was like, I'm going to live heaven on earth right now. He was in too deep. It was no way he can go back. Once you start and you already risk it, putting, taking a penitentiary chance, why not go out with a bang? What would you do? You are Two decades ago, you already knew what you was doing. Like, man, look, man, I don't know where I'm going. You see what I'm saying? And I, all this money coming in. Think about it. Think about it. He the only one that have that. Man, his financial advisor and him got access to that. This is the thing. Why is the financial advisor not involved in this? Somebody had to retrieve that money and count that money for him. You see what I'm saying? Whoever was counting that money, they, they, they had to keep some hush-hush, bro. It's no way... Nigga, you ain't paying nobody. You had to pay somebody just to make sure you was in the clear, bro. There's no way. You you can't. You First of all, you ain't doing the books. You're not doing the books. So, so your accountant have to watch them books. You see what I'm saying? So somebody got to wait. You see what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, man, you know, it's just wrong, man. You know, they got that boy on wire fraud, um, numerous accounts. But when I think of Bishop Lamore Whitehead, all I can see is... When the, when, the, when the goonies came with the ski mask on, oh, nigga, in the church house. I'm thinking that was that nigga, that, that, that old lady, you know what I'm saying? When that, when the grandsons found out the pastor took her, their grandmother money. Yeah, nigga, don't even trip. And when that nigga, what, 90,000? Grandma, I'm about to get you a million. You see what I'm saying? Now, the thing about it, though, right? Them dudes got caught. You see what I'm saying? Them dudes did some heroic-ish. It was heroic, yeah, nigga. I mean, Nina boy, would you run up inside a church, man? You see what I'm saying? Um, and rob the church, nigga. This ain't first Sunday. This ain't no movie. This is real life. Would I do that shit? Nah, I, I know what I'm built for. You know what I'm saying? I just can't see it. You see what I'm saying? Because anything go wrong. What if one of the congregation members want to try to stop and protect the pastor and? You know, I'm one of them dudes, if you get in my way and I'm coming in there and I'm hot and I'm serious, man, I might potentially knock something down. Ah. You see what I'm saying? I, don't, I wouldn't even want to put my, because you, your anger, you just don't know how you, you know, I wouldn't, no, nah, I wouldn't do it. The question is, supporters, chat, if somebody robbed your grandma for her money, her last money, would you run inside a church and rob the church house, knowing people in there, innocent bystanders, and and take back the money. I'm still, I, I, I'm still tripping. What in God's green earth would you be having a million dollars in the church for? They hit them for a million. What is a million? Nine hundred and ninety nine hundred thousand. That's what a million is. You understand? Nine hundred and ninety nine hundred thousand. God be the Lord. You know, um. They stole a million dollars, man. A meal ticket. I, I, I. <clears throat> mm. He traveled the world, man. You know, he had a good run. I ain't gonna lie. He had a good run. Um, he made a lot of enemies, too. He definitely made a lot of enemies. But at the same time, uh, all I can see is the dude looking at it like, man, I'm, I'm, I want heaven right now. I don't want it later. I, I, I shoot my shot now. I take the risk now. Two decades ago, he already had wire fraud. So he he just kept going. He had to keep going. It wasn't that he could stop. It was going to catch him regardless. Now, I think what gave him away was the suits. The three-piece suits. I mean, go type in Lamar Whitehead. 
a custom made Dior three piece suit with the imp the, the, the signature logo on. It wasn't like they were playing. A white person would never wear no Gucci that says Gucci's all over the suit. That's a clown shit. That's some clown shit. I know they wear a, a regular one, all black, but not the logo imprint on it. You couldn't even tell unless you look at the tag. This nigga had the ones. Look at it, nigga. Louis Vuitton, all over. Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Dior, Fendi, all that shit. It was too motherfucking flat. It was, bro. Can I give you my number? My, my, give me your number? No, you can't have my number. Can I give you my number? Why? You know that's I'm, a married man, right? I'm married. So I can call you. No, I'm married. It's a married man, love. Come all on, right. don't do that, sweetheart. Sorry. All right. <laughs> oh. I ain't gonna lie, cuz. That nigga make a nigga wanna be a pastor in myself, bro. Like, the way he did it, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you could do it right, and, and, and God will bless you. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, that nigga, one, prime example. He remind me of the pastor on, in Chicago, the new one, the flashy one. You see what I'm saying? God said, pay yourself before you pay anybody else. That, uh, you know what I'm about? But nah, Chad, y'all y'all be the judge and the jury. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Um, it's crazy because, you know, there ain't no backing out of this. You know what I'm saying? The Blink Bishop, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, it's over. You know what I'm saying? You had your fun, man. You know, all the little women, you know what I'm saying? Oh, not even that. That nigga even tried to file for get them business loans. You see what I'm saying? Half a million here. Half a, he was spending too much money. Lord know how many bags he done brought for the holes and the, the trips that he went. Like, come on, bro. <coughs> You did too much. Um, but he got nine years, um, 108 months. I don't think he'll do nine years. Um, he might do five or six. You see what I'm saying? Five or six years. And, you know, he might get out on early. You know what I'm saying? He'll pass the... Uh, they go test him though. They definitely go test him, nigga. Don't let nobody, uh, 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 family members that you just scam in that same church that you, I mean the penitentiary you in, nigga. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's when they're like chili on their hot dog. You understand me? But anyway, man, y'all be the judge in the jury. Y'all drop y'all opinions in the comment section. But I have one question: Would you rob the church if the pastor robbed your grandma for her everything she had in her bank account and she was going her house was going to foreclosure? That being said, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what y'all think, and I'll see y'all on the next video.